first started painting seriously, I was really inspired by the pelicans that I was watching from my balcony. And I would go out on my porch and I would watch them diving for food. And now hindsight is 2020. I feel like I really understand what was so attractive about that to me. So I think what really attracted me about the pelicans was the way that they dive for food with such precision. And so now I realize that it wasn't just like their natural beauty, but it was their action that inspired me and the idea of making marks on a canvas and being an agent and having control, having agency, doing something. I answered a Craigslist ad for Corks and Canvas at the time. I had no idea what it was. They showed up for the interview and I thought I can do this. They hired me. I started teaching classes there. About a year after that, they asked me to travel and do some training, grand openings in other cities, and I started doing that. Throughout this time, I was still thinking kind of bigger picture, what am I gonna do to make a kind of a sustainable income for me and my son? I was researching art-related fields. Like that was kind of, you know, looking at all these things. And through that research, I discovered the painting a day movement and it was this big movement lots of artists did it and they would post it to their blog and write about it and it was always for sale I thought you don't have to do something art related you could make art and so that's what I decided to do so my research mode switched from how can I make money doing something kind of with art to how can I make money from my art? I launched my business after lots of research, lots of podcasts, lots of videos I'm in April 2014 and I did a painting a day every day for April. So I did 30 paintings in 30 days. Not very tech savvy, but I figured out that little buy now button. I sold my first one on day 15. I ended up selling over half of them throughout that process, but those first 15 days were a little scary. But when that first sale came it was it was pretty great the painting a day method I guess you could call it a lot of those paintings since they're small and quick that's like my 45 minutes to a couple hours range and I love to keep those in a regular rotation in my day-to-day -day life you can learn as much from a small painting about composition and color as you can in a big painting but you get way more sense of satisfaction so you're learning at a faster rate if you're completing these small pieces every day versus working on one piece for a long period of time so I really love the combination doing the small pieces and then almost like to get them checked off my list as almost a warm-up I like to work big love the freedom of working big I like to use my whole arm and I like the paint to really stand up off the canvas and those are all things that can happen on the big surfaces sometimes I'll table them and then pull them out a year later and work on them and those are my pieces that have the most texture they have a lot of layers whereas my smaller pieces are just kind of that they're the instant gratification so I can do those pretty quickly started off a very passive person like I didn't raise my hand in class even though I wanted to I didn't want to take up a lot of space or be seen so I spent a lot of time trying to be small and so when I started doing art I think what was most attractive to me is that it changed all that art made me active so you actually something is blank and then you physically put something on it and there's agency in that and that was really really attractive to me. I never took an art class. I mean, this goes with this theme of being passive. I never thought, oh, I was one of those people's like, I can't draw, but I really could. And I didn't know it because no one had ever really said that I could or said, oh, you're good at that. You might want to pursue it. When I went to college, I'm gonna take art and I went to liberal arts school. So I needed something for this requirement. So I just took it to fill that, turned into, I took every course they offered and I majored in it. You know, just, just the fact of working for a company owned by two women who started it, that just two entrepreneurs, is really inspiring to me. What they did from nothing. When you have those people in your life, you think, okay, well, I can do this too. So I, I love that. And other than that, it's just to go from a complete and total introvert to someone who goes on a stage, that, that's big, you know? So all of these things are connected in, in the sense of like taking up space. Painting with a Twist has made me really comfortable in my own skin. To be able to get on stage and perform is something that teenager me would never have thought I would ever do in a million years. And then to just, the fun, the aspect of fun not being perfect, but just doing it, I think really complements 
the philosophy that I've come to develop. Like, I love helping people to have that agency and put marks on a canvas and not judge them because it really is about process over product. So I, I think that it's a really good fit for me. And I think that what I do, I bring that to the stage and then what Painting with a Twist is influences, it's, it's a circle. So it comes back and, and helps me with what I do.